bonce, noodle, noggin, pate, mug. We got plenty of words for that five kilogram mass balanced on top of our neck, but not so many for the mix of protein, water and fat inside. On Number Hub today, we're talking about brains. That mass that's so unattractive to humans, but so very, very tasty to zombies. President Obama has just announced £100 million of funding to investigate what's going on inside that milkshake mix inside our heads. So here at Number Hub, we've decided to look at the brain from a numerical point of view. So the average brain weighs about 1.4 kilograms. That means about 2% of your body weight is made up of what Hercule Poirot called those little grey cells. Now there are two types of matter inside your brain. The first is white matter. That's about 60% of the mass inside the center of your brain at the top of your spinal cord. That's a little bit like the computer network of your brain. It processes messages from the outside, messages from your body, and passes that around your brain. The other 40% is grey matter. Now, contrary to the publishing phenomenon, there are not 50 shades of this grey matter. In fact, it's not even grey. It's a delicate pink colour. And this is the part of your brain that is hungry. Your brain takes up 20% of the oxygen that comes into your body, but 95% of that oxygen is used by the grey matter. This is the part of your brain that thinks, that processes. It's what helps you hear and see so you can watch this video. It's what helps you think and remember and calculate so you can have these facts in your brain forever. And it's also the part of your brain that controls your motor movements. That's what might trigger off your hand to move over to the subscribe button and click it with your mouse. Ah yes, your cerebral cortex. That's my favourite bit of the brain and that's the bit you'll recognise from particularly gory horror movies because it's the outside of the brain. It's only four millimetres thick but it's so folded and ridged and tightly packed that if you spread the whole thing out your cerebral cortex would cover 2,500 centimetres squared. That is the size of an unfolded newspaper. So that's a big area and an impressive packing technique, but if you want to get the really huge numbers, you have to go down to a microscopic level. Inside your brain, you have on average 86 billion neurons. If everyone on Earth right now was a brain cell, you would need 12 planets the size of Earth to equal the number of brain cells you have inside your head. So how do we know there are 86 billion neurons inside? Well. To be honest, if you're a bit squeamish, I would look away now. Well, previously, scientists have just looked at different parts of the brain, worked out how many neurons there are in each section, and added it all up. They came to about 100 billion back then, but recently, a scientist in Brazil has done something a little bit more messy. They got hold of a few brains from medical research, and they ground them up into a pulp. Basically, they made pink milkshake mix out of a few people's brains. And then they took the mathematical average of different samples from that milkshake mix and worked out how many neurons there are on average inside the brain. Don't worry, you can come back now because I've finished blending brains. Instead, I'm going to electrocute them, ha 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 ha! Because yes, inside your brain, there is a stream of electrical signals traveling from neuron to neuron at 220 miles per hour. And they're capable of firing at five millisecond intervals. That means your brain has a computer processing power of 10 million billion calculations per second. Someone once had the bright idea of adding up all these little electrical voltages to find out what you could power with all of that electricity. And it turns out you could power a 25 watt light bulb. Isn't that a bright idea? Inside your brain, you have a low powered organic supercomputer and it's fed by 400 miles of capillaries carrying blood. If you stretched all of those capillaries out, it would reach from London to Edinburgh. And on top of that, you have 100,000 miles of nerves. If you wrapped them around the world, you'd get four times around before you ran out of nerve. So one number we haven't covered is zero. Zero is the number of pain receptors inside your brain. So however much you think that your maths homework or filing that tax return is giving you brain ache, it's not your brain that's hurting. It's the membranes around your brain and all of the pain receptors inside your skull that are giving you that headache. And now for the real bad news. 
our brains lose about two grams of mass every year after your 25th birthday. Over the last 50 years in Europe, the life expectancy of an average person has risen from 70 to 80 years. That means as we get older, we can expect the last few years of our life to have more Alzheimer's, dementia and other degenerative brain conditions. You've probably also heard that your brain cells are dying all the time. It's a bit of a woolly area, but some scientists put it at one brain cell per second. So just during the time you've watched this video, you've lost another couple of hundred. You might also have been told that you can never grow new brain cells. Well, that bit is not true. Recent research suggests that you are growing new brain cells all the time, and that gives us hope for new therapies that will halt dementia and will help stroke victims recover. That's good news for us, and good news for zombies. Oh.